Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King Dre, and I'm coming at y'all again, man, to chop up some more game, man. Today we're gonna talk about how to remove the imprint from her ex. That's right. You guys hit me up all the time asking me, King Dre, she's been imprinting. How do I remove the imprint from her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend or her baby daddy? You know, how do I slide on in there and put my game down and put my imprint in there? I got you. Look no further. Captain Saver Bro is here. But before we get into the game, fellas, man, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. Playerism is an antidote to feminism. But, um... But before we get into the game, real quick, man, I dropped my course. My course is my new course is um, live and available for purchase. Click the link in the bio. It's called How to Make a Woman Fall Love in Love and Obsess Over You. Deep game, three hours long. I break it down. I break it down, you know, the uh, love on a biological and scientific, uh, scientific tip. But I break it down in a playeristic way, man, and when you can understand it and digest it and soak it up, man, real deep game, it's essential. It's actually the cheat code. It's the cheat sheet to any relationship, so you need to get that three three hours, man, but it's, it's well worth it, man. You sit down and you soak that shit up, you'll be a master seducer. You'll be a master at this ism, you know what I'm saying? So go get that, but anyway... I'm going to give you guys three tips. Um, getting back into the ism, man. I'm going to give you guys three tips. Uh, three three uh, tips to imp three tips to remove the imprint. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up, man. But I'm going to give you three tips to uh, remove the imprints, you know, from her ex or her baby daddy. Um, you know, and shit like that. But first, man, you gotta, guys got to understand. Let me... The first thing is first. When you out here in the dating game, right, and you meeting women... First things first, this shit is a competition. I don't care how you want to look at it. The dating, the dating game is a big competition. You have to understand that. You have to improve, man. You, you have to improve, improve, and you have to compete. And the way to compete is self-improvement. I change these dating streets. You dig what I'm saying? So that's first things first. It, this shit is a competition. Every day, you should be striving to give yourself the edge over the competition and that's through self-improving working out getting your money together keeping your health and keeping your health in order making sure your stamina right so you can fuck all night you know what i'm saying getting your money up getting your mind right you know what i'm saying every single day fulfilling your purpose staying confident you know dressing the part looking the part speaking the part this is a competition this dating game understand that that's number one always self-improvement the, the way to to compete in the dating game is self-improvement so that's number one never forget that number two remember this when you meet women 95 percent of the time they're either dealing with somebody else or enthralled by somebody else or their mind is on somebody very rarely will you have a woman who's 100 percent completely single Right, a 100% completely single with no ties to anybody. That's very rare. So when you meet a woman, a lot of the times you guys meet women, you take them out on dates and you know you do this and then they ghost you. One of the main reasons that that happens is the guy that they fucking with hit them back. Or the guy, the ex-boyfriend or the baby daddy or whatever hit them back up and like, yo, let's try this again. I'm sorry, let's make this work. Or I want my family back. Or, you know, came back from out of town. Or stopped being so busy. You know what I'm saying? She's able to get back in contact with him or able to reach him. And thus, she ghosts you. You know what I'm saying? So, always understand that. This is a reality of the game. 95% of the women you meet are going to have some dealings with somebody else. If they ain't fucking them, they tied to them emotionally and they can't get over them. If that, but most of the time, you know, it's a, a they have a sexual relationship. Most women ain't out here just on no celibate shit. Everybody got somebody. You have to understand that. Now, once you tie that into the fact that this dating game is a competition you'll be able to look at the game and understand the game you know and you can approach it you'll have an edge man you know what i'm saying because you'll know how to approach the game now you know what i'm saying you'll know how to you know you'll know how to maneuver around these things and you'll do the things once you internalize that you'll do the things that will help you win and have the edge over everybody else i've always understood this is one thing i've always understood since i've been dating and i was a teenager that this is a competition 
You know what I'm saying? And I have to be better than everybody else. And I strive to, and I don't get me wrong, I don't strive to be better than everybody else for no bitches. That's not the issue. You know what I'm saying? That's not the thing. I strive to be better. That's just how my mother raised me. You know what I'm saying? To be the best that you can be with whatever you're going to be. Be the best at it. Have the edge. Study. Work, work out. You know what I'm saying? Read. Uh, improve your knowledge base you know what i'm saying know what you're talking about you know just be dope and be the best at everything so my thing was having an edge and anything i do in life i want to have the edge over everybody and that's in, in, including dating you know i want to have the edge over you know when i meet a chick and you know she got a dude and then maybe the dude maybe acting like a little bitch or you know maybe the dude that cheated on her or whatever happens you know and she 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 opened up to me a little bit and gave me a little airtime. I want to have the edge over this dude. You dig what I'm saying? So I can get what I want and I can get my what I want out of the game. You know, a hundred percent cooperation, a hundred percent submission or whatever. I can get that out of the game easy. You know, easy and smooth. You dig what I'm saying? And get what I want. You know, with as little investment as possible. That's my thing to have the fucking edge over everybody and everything in every area of life. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? So understand that, man. Once you, like I say, once you put that, th those two facts together, that this game is a competition and that 95% of the women, I would say 98% of the women have somebody. Understand that you'll be able to approach this thing on some player shit and you'll be able to navigate it thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you, you, you're, you being intel an intelligent human being, you'll, you'll start to figure out ways that you can make this game work for you once you understand the game. Now, before I get into the tips, though, understand this. When you first meet women, sometimes they're going to run off on you, bro. There's nothing. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. You know, sometimes, you, you know, it, you may just be a rebound. You may just be. You know, you may just be, uh, you know, she she needs you to boost her confidence back up because she just found out he was cheating. So you knock her down a couple times and, you know, he call her back, apologizing and say, Let, baby, let's go on a cruise. I want to make it up to you. There's pretty much nothing you can do as there has not been enough time for you to remove the imprint. So you have to understand that you're not going to be able to do this every single time 100 percent but i'm going to show you ways that you can you know maximize on um your outcome the ways you can maximize your outcome but understand that you're not going to be able to pull this off 100 percent of the time as timing is a, a is a big thing timing is a is a good a, a, a huge barrier in this like i say you meet the chick you meet the broad, everything going good. You haven't had enough time to put your beard in like that to remove it. He hit her back up. It's a wrap. Now, you know, if if there's ways you can fuck all that. I get into that later, but you know what I'm saying? Understand that. So there are things that you can do to to lessen the sting. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, this happens. And a lot of times when chicks go y'all or stop fucking with y'all or, or you, it should be going good or smooth. And it's like, damn, what happened? And then, you know, a lot of the times you internalize it. You know, I guess I would say about half of the time it's maybe because you did something, you know, you was being too needy or you ran her off. But the other half of the time, man, 60, 70, even 75 percent of the time is the dude came back or she went back to 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 what was familiar you know the dude was fucking up and he fixed it however you know so but there are ways that you can i'm gonna give you some ways real quick that you can kind of minimize that happening to you you know what i'm saying that way and and, and lessen the sting because it, it it stings a little bit when you invest your time you invest you know your little money on dinner dates or you know you move things around so you can you know spend time with the chick or whatever and then that shit happens so in order to uh, like minimize it, one thing that you can do, and uh, what you fellas need to start doing is asking fucking uh, asking questions. You guys need to ask questions. I know a lot of guys tell you, "Oh, don't 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 ask this because you're gonna make you seem like a boyfriend, and you know you don't want to put your boy self in the boyfriend category," which is true. But you know, at the end of the day, you can you can frame things in a way to you know keep it light and you know not to seem so serious. You know, and I always ask. I ask this in the beginning, like the first conversation, sometimes on the phone or even through dating apps or whatever. You know, if I meet a woman in person, I'm not gonna ask. But I always ask, how long has it been since her breakup? Right? How long has she been single? Right? If a chick tell me anywhere from 
less than four, three, four, five, six months, anywhere up under that. I already know right then and there, I'm not going to really take her too serious. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to let time do its thing because me personally, I don't really, I'm not really trying to remove no imprint from no dude. If, if she, that, for, that's just me personally, but I do understand that you guys want to learn how to do this. I can do it. If I felt the chick had that much potential and not really potential, but if she was that solid and I was like, damn, I could, you know, I could fuck with this broad. Then I put my magic to work. But for the most part, I don't really, if a chick tell me, oh, it's been three months since, you know, I my split. I know she's at a low state. She's vulnerable. She needs, you know, she needs attention. She needs, uh, you know, she needs to be validated. For me, that's easy ass, man. So uh, that's how I approach it. But I usually, you know, I always ask questions. That way I know how to approach the situation. You guys have to ask these questions. How long have you been? You know, how long have you been single? Or when was your last breakup? If they say, like I say, anything less than six months, there's a high probability of them getting back with that dude. Because women like to be comfortable. And they like uh, being familiar. You know what I'm saying? They would... They don't like their men to be comfortable, but they, they don't like to be comfortable around their men and, and get too complacent because it's a turnoff inadvertently. But they like comfortable situations like they would rather, you know, they would rather be. That's why you see women stick by dudes that don't really, you know, that 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 kind of abuse them and shit like that for for a long time because they're comfortable in that situation. So I understand that if she tell me anything less than six months that, you know, it's, it's a high probability of this dude getting back. I mean, this dude hitting her up and she running back to him. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. So once I know that, I know how to uh, I know how to approach the situation now. You know what I'm saying? I know which angle I can take. That way it can minimize my sting. It, I can minimize my investment. And I can get what I want with the least amount of investment. You dig what I'm saying? Now, another key point to, to, to lessen how you know lessen the sting and you know the lessen the blow from you know this happening to you is to until a woman is 100 percent submissive to you keep your investments to a minimum playboy that's your money your time your energy your attention keep it to a minimum until a woman is 100 percent invested in you understanding this game this piece of key piece of game right here that women cannot serve two masters so if she's not fully submitted to you there's a, a high probability that she's submitted to somebody else even if they're not fucking around but there's a high probability that if they if they not fucking around or fucking or whatever that she he still has her heart and her mind don't lock and you know through space and distance he still has her submissive so once a woman fully submits to me then i can start to take her serious i don't start taking a woman serious until i have 100 percent full submission and you guys need to adopt that same train of thought you dig what i'm saying this will it's like preventative measures man you know what i'm saying this real cold game and this is player shit man and and, and this this is gonna save you guys a lot of time a lot of energy and a lot of a lot of hurt it's gonna sting a lot less man a lot less man and you'll be able to navigate situations thoroughly you know what i'm saying so until a woman is 100 percent submissive to you keep your investment to the bare minimum you want to get as much mo as much as you can with giving the least as you can you know what i'm saying and play the field that's that those are some things those are some preventative measures to you know keep the sting down or or, or to you know approach the situation and, and understanding what's gonna happen that way you're not distraught and confused when the chick ghosts you or she stopped hitting you up and she don't went back to her ex so those two things and adopt that into your game now let me give you the three ways that you the, the three things that you have to do to remove the imprint from her uh from her ex or her baby daddy or the last relationship three things first understand that this shit takes time you can't go and do this in, uh, in, in two weeks to a month so time has to be on your side timing is everything like i said if, if you're talking to a chick and a month went by and she went back, there's pretty much nothing you can do. There's nothing anybody can do because there wasn't enough time. So understand that before I get into this. It takes fucking time. Be patient. You dig what I'm saying? Now, number one, you have to capture her mind. The mind, once you get the mind, 
once you kill a head, the body's dead. You dig what I'm saying? That's an old, that's an old war theory, an old war tactic. You kill a head, the body's dead. You have to capture her mind, mind first. Once you get her mind, everything else follows. You have access to everything. King Dre, how do you get her mind? Be different. That's one of the keys. Be different. Now. A lot of this stuff, I go into it real deep and real thorough in my new course. But I'm still going to break this game down for you right here for the freebie. You know what I'm saying? But capture her mind. Be different. That's one of the main ways to capture a woman's mind. Be different and stand out. When you stand out, you, you, you're you unique and rare. And women value what's rare. So be different. Don't be like everybody else. So you as players, you you, you, you go, you go in your back cave and you figure out ways to be different and stand out and embrace your uniqueness. Like I said, I get into that real deep in my course though. How to make a woman fall in love. Um, another key to capture her mind is you have to stimulate her mind. You dig what I'm saying? You have to keep it stimulated. You have to keep the the, the, the the dopamine going. You have to keep the oxytocin going. You have to do that. I'd get into that too. But stimulate her mind. You know what I'm saying? Intellectual conversations. Bomb sex. You know what I'm saying? Good pleasurable moments. Stimulate the mind. Be different. Capture her mind. This is how you compete with the ex that has the that have the imprint. Once you got the, once you can get a bitch's mind, you have everything. The mind, the heart, the pussy, and the soul. You got her. You dig what I'm saying? Her mind. Number two, sex. You got to blow the back out. I know a lot of you guys don't have, you know, uh, I know a lot of you guys working with chicken nuggets and shrimps. That's cool. That's fine. Because I know I got some, I know some players and I've dealt with women who had uh, guys that had imprints on them before me and they tell me the, the stories and them guys was shrimps and chicken nuggets but them guys had game and them guys was players you know what i'm saying and they had the women wrapped up i got a homeboy and i know you know i know this because <laughs> we ran a train on the broad one time my dog got a chicken nugget for real a shrimp shrimp and the bitches are crazy over him so you know, as far as the sex thing, if you don't really have, if you don't really have a, 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 a average size or a big rod, there are other things you can do. Learn foreplay. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to, you know, and, and also once you can get the mind, it, may, it heightens the sex anyway. But if you can, good sex, make her orgasm, blow her mind in the bedroom, blow the back out you be able to last i go into this also man in in, in my new course but be able to last man you, you know get your stamina up learn how to control your pre uh, your premature ejaculation i teach you how to do all this stuff but i'm gonna give you some tips get your fat ass in the gym get the treadmill stamina is a real thing you know what I'm saying? If you can't stand up, if you can't stand up on a treadmill, you can't stand up in no ass. You know what I'm saying? Get your blood flowing. Get your cardio right. That helps you sexually big time. Why do you think women like guys who are athletes or guys who work out? They not going to tell you that secret, but I'm here to tell you that that's the case. So, um, you know, get in the gym. Number two, take women off of the pedestal. This I'm going to be quick with this one, but take women off of the pedestal in your mind. This is one of the major um one of the major causes of premature ejaculation you because you so feel you have your your feelings all wrapped up into the broad and you pedestalize her and you look up to her and, and and you know you're wanting to please her this makes you come fast all of the feelings that you have for her so detach and take her off of the pedestal but blow the back out sex you have to sex you have to if not be better than him you got to be able to put it down like him because if he call her back you're a rap now if he don't want her back you you can let nature and time take its course but if he call her back and you can't put it down, then it's a wrap, bro. So satisfy her sexually. Number three, just the last thing, investment. You have to learn how to get women to invest in you and keep them invested in you. The thing, why they, this is the reason they have the imprint. This is the reason why this guy has an imprint on her because she invested so much. So once time does its thing and she's invested in you just as much, that imprint starts to go away. And now you're imprinting her now. 
Now you have her mind. You have her sexually, and now she's invested in you. The investment is the major key. This is the big piece of the pie, investment. If she put the same amount of effort and energy into you, that motherfucker, that ex ain't gonna, ain't gonna mean a hill of fucking beans. You dig what I'm saying? She ain't gonna mean shit to, he ain't gonna mean shit to her because now she's invested into you. One of the ways, this is why women are, this is why women do this and they don't, they're not conscious that they do this, but a woman, when, when a woman break up, they'll quickly jump to somebody else and put the same amount of effort when they vulnerable and put the same amount of effort into it. That helps them get over the ex faster. It's not that the dude is, you know, the dude is charming and easy. It's just that she's uh, investing in him. She's sexually investing in him, um, investing her feelings all over again. A lot of the times the rebound situations don't work, but women do this to women naturally know how to do this so get her to invest in you playboy get her to invest her time her energy her affection her money she has to invest in you investment is key in in, in getting women to fall in love and imprint in them and when i got like i said once they once she starts to invest in you on the same level that she was investing in him she's not going to even be worried about him no more because now she's going to be worried about you and her investment with you you know what i'm saying this is a key investment like i say monetary get them get them to you know do things for you get them to do put them put them to work make them do chores you know what i'm saying create an emotional turmoil this whole shit all of this stuff everything that i talk about in all of my videos i go thoroughly break it especially when it deals with love i go thoroughly thoroughly in three hours on my new course and in, into stuff like this so but yeah investment major fucking key get them to invest in you as much as they did as much as they as they did with the ex another thing with uh investment is you know requiring cooperation and submission if they stay in cooperating no deal you know what i'm saying when, when the more a woman cooperates with you this is a a little key little key game man the more a woman cooperates with you the more she submits to you the more she becomes emotionally invested in you and once she's you know she starts to become emotionally invested in you she'll invest her money she'll invest more of her affection her time her energy you see how this thing works fellas so you know this player shit man this is how you remove the imprint from the ex you fuck you welcome because y'all been asking me this since i started this fucking channel since i since i you know i made my instagram and you know my answer to you guys is always why do you want to do that get you another bitch but then I, I you know i was like you know i can't tell you how to play the game the way i would play it but like because like i say once a woman tells me that she's been single for three months four months me i don't take her serious there's nothing i, I don't want to even i'm not i don't want to try to put my magic because i don't have time for that but you guys do have time and you want to learn how to do this and, and and you need to know how to do this a, a lot of the times I, ha, I i have to check myself from looking at the game as though you know i'm you you know i'm you guys and you know you guys have my experience and my knowledge and i have to check myself and understand that that's not the case because that there's a point of time where i wanted to when i was younger i wanted to figure out how i can outdo this bitch's baby daddy not really outdo him to her to impress him but how can i be better how can the love that she got for him how can i transfer that to me there's a time where i wanted to do how to know how to do that when i was 18 19 and 20 i figured it out so i understand that you know what i'm saying so to all the guys that i tell in my dms why you want to fucking do that go get another bitch here it is you know what i'm saying my bad i had to check myself and understand that you know we don't have the same experiences i may have started you know way you know 20 years before you you know we don't come from the same backgrounds and all that type of shit but yeah guys that's how to remove the imprint from the x Take that, soak that up, listen to this like 10 fucking times. When you get done with this, hit the refresh, hit the refresh button and um, play this back and soak it up, man. This is a big key. This will reduce, you know, a lot of bullshit that you guys go through. So I hope this game helps you understand how a lot of this game works out here. You know, as far as, you know, this being a competition and, you know, most women have somebody. When you meet them, they're going to have somebody, 95% of them. Just, yeah. I, that's and that's being generous so hopefully you guys understand that and now you can navigate the dating game on some player shit and you can navigate thoroughly and minimize your loss man and maximize your maximize your return with the least amount of investments possible that's what player shit is about but 
if you found this you know you found this information valuable like the video hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press share this game tag somebody in the video send the dm this video to two three of your homies turn them on to the game because you know don't don't be stingy with the game i know a lot of you guys want to soak up the game in private that way you don't want to let nobody know that you need help fuck that share the game man spread the word as i say playerism is the only antidote to feminism and my my goal is to balance the earth man and get the world back to the way it should be balanced and, and on some playerism shit so you know like i say like the video subscribe share the word man let's spread the game um like i say my new course is available how to make a woman fall in love and obsess of you good game three hours long good deep game also um attraction 101 go get that that's 12 dollars right now i never changed the price i mean i changed it for a little bit but i dropped it again so if you want attraction 101 go get that for 12 dollars. that's available um what else oh join the patreon fire content all my text threads on my phone conversations that i record all of that shit is it's going on um it's going it's going on patreon and i i dro actually drop more content on there than i do on youtube um join the facebook group my private facebook me uh players community we chop up game and bounce ideas off of each other and follow me on instagram at get underscore free underscore game but that's that that's all that's that with that fellas i appreciate you guys for tuning in i appreciate i appreciate you guys for listening all the way through i appreciate all the love and support i love you guys dearly you know this is why i wake up and do this shit for you guys i want to change the world and i want to help as many guys as i can that's why i do this man so i appreciate you guys for tuning in this your boy king dre and i'm gone